Namaste and welcome to my channel. Here I am with fourth video tutorial on building analysis by apps. Please go through all the previous videos for a better understanding in it. In this video, we are talking about modeling of staircase in the building. There are various methods that you can use to model staircase in your building. I think you will find this method very easy. Let's see the plan of building. This is the staircase position on the building, and this is the directions for going up. This is the slab part which lies on the floor and these are the steps on the inclined slab and this is the landing which lies in between the floors. Let's see on the ETAPS model. I have modeled this building from the ground floor, thus our staircase begins from the ground floor. You can navigate to any floor plan by using these two up and down arrows. So let's move on to the ground floor. And this is the ground floor. You can see that there are no any beams in columns on the ground floor because I have modeled uh, by assuming the base is a ground floor. You can see that from this edit tab. Go to the edit tab and then this edit, edit storage in the grid systems. Click on it. Click onto the modify or show story data. You can see here there is no any base. It has started from the ground floor. I have named the base as a ground floor. That is, I started modeling by assuming base is a ground floor. So my column rests on the ground floor. There are certain basic differences that you need to know about modeling from the base and modeling from the ground floor. In this case, column is fixed on the ground floor. And you know that function of the tie beam is to hold the columns firmly in their positions. Here, columns are already fixed on the ground, so we don't need to draw any tie beams. Instead, if we have modeled our building from the base, we need to draw plinth tie beam on the ground floor. So the basic difference is the role of tie beam. Before moving on to the stress modeling, you need to select all the joints from the ground floor and restrain it from all the possible movements. For that, go to this, first of all, select this all the joints from the ground floor. And you can read here, 13 joints have been selected. Go to the assign tab, go to this joints and then restrain. We have to restrain all these movement that is translation about X, translation about Y, translation about Z, rotation about X, rotation about Y, rotation about Z. Simply it means we have to provide a fixed output at the end of this column. For that go to this fast restraints and you can see that all these boxes have been checked and go to apply and then OK. Now the joints have been restrained from all the possible movements. Now first we have to draw this slab on the ground floor. For that we have to add this line in the form of the grid. I suppose this width of landing is 1000 mm. And this width of step or the flight is this center to center distance divided by 2. Let's move on to the ETAPS model and add some grids. Make sure that you are working on one story from here. So it's in the one story. So for adding the grids, go to the draw and then this draw grids. This small panel pops up here. I suppose the width of landing to be 1000 mm. So type here offset as a 1000 mm. So as a reference for the offset, if you select it from the left to the right options and you want the grid to be added downwards from it, you have to give this, give the minus sign here, that is minus 1000. Let's select this point and then this point. So the grid have been added. We repeat the same procedure for this part. The offset should be this time plus 1000 because we select this point and the this point, so we want the next grid to be above from it. So the plan offset should be thousand plus thousand mm. This point and this point. Another grid is added. For the flight part, we have to add another grid in between here, and the offset distance should be this distance divided by two. It becomes 927 mm. Enter. Select this point. 
and this point finally the grid has been added the landing part is always in between the floors so we have to add another reference plane in between the floors it is difficult to model the staircase from this complete 3d view because it creates lots of confusion so we have to hide this view and for that select all this object right click here and then go to this hide selected object you don't have to worry because you can again recover it click here right click and click on the show all the objects it has been recovered thus we hide this complete view and walk on the history case landing part is in between the floors to add landing slab we have to define reference plane in between the floors for that go to this elevation view and click simply a section a apply and ok go to this dot app and then draw reference plane put vertical offset is the distance between the floors is 3 meter that is 3000 mm and the reference plane should be exactly halfway in between the floors that is 1500 mm from this ground floor and select on this grid and the reference plane have been added you can see that from here to see what exactly is in this reference plane go to the plan and then navigate it to the reference plane that is from here you can see that this is the reference plane added go to the ground floor Let's draw the easter case floor slab here. Now we have to draw the inclined slab and you can see that the inclined slab has its, its two points on the ground floor slab and these two points on the reference plane. So add this inclined slab. We have to draw this slab by using point to point slab draw option that is by using this option and the property is slab 150 which is okay. For that select two points. This and then this. Now the another two point is in the reference plane. So go to the reference plane from this option now we are into the reference plane another point is here and here now finally we have to close this point so we have to come to the ground floor again sorry and we have to close here You can see from this 3D view the inclined slab has been added. Now draw landing slab on the reference plane. Let's go to the reference plane. Now draw land now let's draw the landing slab here. You can use this drag slab draw option. The property is slab 150, which is okay. Make sure that you draw it very correctly, that is grid to grid points. We have to draw now this inclined slab, which has its two points, these two points on the reference plane landing slab, and these two points on the first floor. So we use point to point slab draw option and do exactly the same as what we did before. Let's use this point to point slab draw option. The property is slab 150, which is okay. We are in the reference plane, which is also okay. So select these two points, one, two, and this inclined slab is other two points at the first floor. So navigate by using this option to the first floor. We are onto the first floor. 
click on this point this point and then we have to close it and to close it we have to come to the reference pane again by using this down list and we have to close it here you can see that another inclined slab has been added now let's draw the first floor slab that is here you can use this option that is drag option to draw it property slab 150 drag it from here and then exact it to this point we have done mistake so we have to redraw it skip select it delete again use this option this is exactly in this point now it is okay You can see we have successfully drawn the Easter case from ground floor to the first floor. Now we don't need to do this to all the floors. We simply copy it by using the replicate option. For that, select this drawn Easter case by using this drag option. And then go to the edit command. You can see replicate here. Click it. And we replicate it to every story. So click it on the story and you start from the second floor you can see easily let's apply and to the third floor apply it it says error because we have to choose the drone story every time so let's not do this process simply close it and undo it from here now first of all again do the same procedure select this story go to the edit and then go to the replicate story and drag it from second to the roof second floor to the roof apply let's see what happens exactly what we needed and then ok so you can see that the history case have been added. You can see that here the joints have also been selected while copying this whole history case. So these are the joints from uh, these two joints of the ground floor. So you have you should not restrain it on any floors. Make sure that you are working on the all stories option and then select these two joints. So the whole joints have been selected from the bottom to the top and then go to the assign tab and then join tab and then restrained click it to this non restrained option and then apply and then okay so all the joints from this ground floor to the roof floor have been freed from the restraint for these two joints which have to be restrained on the ground floor because they are the in points of the column so go to this walking platform on one story and then click these two joints go to the assign tab and then to the join tab and then restrain and restrain fast restrain it so that it is restrained from all the possible movements apply and then ok click on this 3d window and then show all the objects that are previously hidden that is right click here and so all the objects finally the stack is have been modeled our next task is to assign the load on the drawn elements that is beam floor slab etc to learn more about building analysis subscribe our channel do like comments and share with your friends thank you